Good afternoon. Good Friday. Today is the most wonderful Friday, the Friday on which our Lord Jesus Christ gave his life for us on the wood of the cross. And now at this hour, the hour of mercy, we will um, pray together the Stations of the Cross. You in your homes, of course, um, sheltering in place, but all of us in spirit now are going to Calvary. We're going along the way of the cross. We'll accompany our Lord with Our Lady. We'll be singing, of course, those um, verses between each station of the Stabat Mater, which is that traditional hymn uh, to the Blessed Virgin Mary, praying to her, asking her to comfort us and consoling her because she is the mother who consoled her son at the foot of the cross and who also comforts us and helps us to remain as she helped St. John the Apostle to remain at the foot of the cross, to have courage on this day, this day when between 12 noon and 3 p.m. Jesus hung upon the wood of the cross. And so this is the hour of mercy. It's also the first day of the novena of the divine mercy. So today we will also pray together if you would like afterwards to remain as we pray together the chapel of, the, of divine mercy and the first day of the novena, which goes, of course, from today until the day of the uh, divine mercy feast. And so we begin now our Stations of the Cross, meditated um, by St. Faustina Kowalska. We will hear meditations from her diary, some readings from her diary, and then we will hear uh, a lecture will read the voice of St. Faustina herself as she um, speaks to our Lord and our Lord speaks to her. So these are beautiful med meditations which, which we'll use today on Good Friday, which are taken from the diary, the writings of St. Faustina Kowalska, focused on the devotion of the, of the divine mercy. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, divine mercy for us, you appeared to St. Faustina Kowalska and assured her, assured her that you are mercy itself. The greater the sinner, the more you delight in showing your divine mercy. We ask you to have mercy upon us, have mercy upon the whole world. Have mercy on the world in this time of pandemic and sickness. Give healing to the bodies and also, Lord, healing to the souls of all sinners. 
hear our prayer and accept our homage, our love as we follow you on the way of Calvary. We ask this in your holy name, Lord Jesus, you who suffered for us, carried the cross, died upon the cross, and rose and lives forever and ever. Amen. At the cross her station keeping, Mary stood in sorrow weeping. When her son was crucified, The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. The chief priests and the entire Sanhedrin kept trying to obtain false testimony against Jesus in order to put him to death, but they found none though many false witnesses came forward. Words of our Lord Jesus Christ from the Diary of St. Faustina. Do not be surprised that you are sometimes unjustly accused. I myself first drank this cup of undeserved suffering for the love of you. When I was before Herod, I obtained a grace for you, namely, that you would be able to rise above human scorn and follow faithfully in my footsteps. St. Faustina said, We are sensitive to words and quickly want to answer back without taking any regard as to whether it is God's will that we should speak. A silent soul is strong. No adversities will harm it if it perseveres in silence. The silent soul is capable of attaining the closest union with God. We pause in silence and ask the Lord for that gift of silence in this time of distancing and sheltering at home. Lord, help us to appreciate silence and to practice silence when we are offended. Let us pray. Eternal, Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. While she waited in her anguish, seeing Christ in torment anguish, did her sorrow pierce her heart. The second station. Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross we have redeemed, redeemed the world. world. From the Gospel of John. Then Pilate took Jesus and had him scourged, and the soldiers wove a crown out of thorns and placed it on his head 
and clothed him in a purple cloak. And they came to him and said, Hail, King of the Jews. Jesus came out wearing the crown of thorns and the purple cloak. And Pilate said to them, Behold the man. When the chief priests and the guards saw him, they cried out, Crucify him, crucify him. Words of Jesus. Do not be afraid of sufferings. I am with you. The more you will come to love suffering, the purer your love for me will be. Saint Faustina said, Jesus, I thank you for the little daily crosses, for opposition to my endeavors, for the hardships of life, for the misinterpretation of my intentions, for humiliations at the hand of others, for the harsh way in which we are treated, for false suspicions, for poor health and loss of strength, for self-denial, for dying to myself, for lack of recognition in everything, for the upsetting of all my plans. In this time, of upset when all of our plans are upset by the coronavirus pandemic. In this time of involuntary sacrifices, we ask the grace to accept and to choose voluntary sacrifices, the fasting of this day, Good Friday, and the grace to accept and to choose the penances of this holy week. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the, the sake, sake of his sorrowful passion, have, have mercy on us and on the whole world. world. With the pain and desolation, with one no more indignation, Mary watched her dying son. The third station. Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy, holy cross, we have redeemed the, the world. world. A prophecy from the book of Isaiah. We had all gone astray like sheep, each following his own way. But the Lord laid upon him the guilt of us all. And he shall take away the sins of many and win pardon for their offenses. Words of Jesus to St. Faustina. My daughter, write that involuntary offenses of souls do not hinder my love for them or prevent me from uniting myself with them. But voluntary offenses, even the smallest, obstruct my graces and I cannot lavish my gifts on such souls. Saint Faustina answered, O oh my Jesus, how prone I am am I to evil, and this forces me to be constantly vigilant. But I do not lose heart. I trust God's grace, which abounds in the worst misery. We 
Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the, for the sake, sake of his, his sorrowful passion, passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Ever patient in her yearning, through her tears new eyes were burning. Mary gazed upon her son. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. From the Gospel of Luke. Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that he will be contradicted, and you yourself a sword will pierce. From the words of Jesus to St. Faustina. Listen, although all the works that come into being by my will are exposed to great sufferings, consider whether any of them has been subject to greater difficulties than that work which is directly mine, the work of redemption. You should not worry too much about adversity. Saint Faustina said, I saw the Blessed Virgin. She held me so close to herself and said to me, Be courageous. Do not fear apparent obstacles, but fix your gaze upon the passion of my son. And in this way, you will be victorious. We pause in silence to consider Our Lady who comforted the Lord on the way of the cross and who comforts us in our difficulties. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Who that sorrow contemplating on that passion med would not share the virgin's grief. The fifth station. Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. From the Gospel of Luke. As they led him away, they took hold of a certain Simon, a Cyrenian, who was coming in from the country, and after laying the cross on him, they made him carry it behind Jesus. Words of Jesus to St. Faustina. I permit adversaries, I permit adversities in order to increase merit. I do not reward for good results, but for the patience and hardship undergone for my sake. St. Faustina said, O oh my Jesus, you do not give a reward for the successful performance of a work, but for the goodwill 
and labor undertaken. Therefore, I am completely at peace, even if all my undertakings and efforts should be thwarted or should come to naught. If I do all that is in my power, the rest is not my business. We pause in silence to consider the goodwill of Simon to Cyrene, and that we too might help our Lord and our neighbor. Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake, the sake of, the of the sorrowful passion, passion have, have mercy, mercy on us and, us and the, whole the whole world. Christ Jesus, for our salvation, serve The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. A prophecy from the book of Isaiah. There was in him no stately bearing to make us look at him, nor appearance that would attract us to him. He was spurned and avoided by men, a man of suffering, accustomed to infirmity, one of those from whom men hide their faces, spurned, and we held him in no esteem. words of Jesus. Know that whatever good you do to any soul, I accept it as if you had done it to me. St. Faustina said, I am learning how to be good from Jesus, from him who is goodness itself, so that I may be called a daughter of the Heavenly Father. Great love can change small things into great ones. And it is only love which lends value to our actions. We pause to contemplate the compassion and love of Veronica. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement, in atonement for our, our sins and, and those of the whole world, for the sake, the sake of, of sorrowful, sorrowful passion, passion have, have mercy on us and on, and on the whole world. I she saw with my blood fading all Adore you, O Christ, and we praise the seventh station. Jesus falls a second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A prophecy from the book of Isaiah. Yes, it was our infirmities that he bore, our sufferings that he endured. While we thought of him as stricken, as one smitten by God and afflicted. From the words of Jesus. 
the cause of your falls is that you rely too much upon yourself and too little on me. Without special help from me, you are not able to even, you are not even capable of accepting my graces. Queen Osteen said, Jesus, do not leave me alone. You know, Lord, how weak I am. I am an abyss of wretchedness. I am nothingness itself. So what will be so strange if you leave me alone and I fall? So you, Jesus, must stand by me constantly like a mother by a helpless child. And even more so. We ask the Lord for the grace of relying more completely upon him lest we fall. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for, for our sins, sins and, and those, those of, of the, the whole world. world. For the, For the sake, sake of the sorrowful passion, have, have mercy, mercy on us and on the whole world. Mary, form of love, devotion, let me share with you emotion all the sorrow. The eighth station, Jesus consoles the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. From the Gospel of Luke. A large crowd of people followed Jesus, including many women who mourned and lamented him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep instead for yourselves. The words of Jesus. Oh, how pleasing to me is living faith. I desire that you would all have more faith at the present time. Saint Faustina said, I fervently beg the Lord to strengthen my faith so that in my drab, everyday life, I will not be guided by human dispositions, but by those of the Spirit. Oh, how everything drags man towards the earth, but lively faith contains the soul in the higher regions and assigns self-love its proper place. That is to say, the lowest one. We ask the Lord to give us great faith. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Virgin, The 
ninth station. Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A prophecy from the book of Isaiah. Though he was harshly treated, he submitted and opened not his mouth. Like a lamb led to the slaughter, or a sheep before the shearers, he was silent and opened not his mouth. But the Lord was pleased to crush him in infirmity. Words of Jesus to St. Faustina. My child, know that the greatest obstacles to holiness are discouragement and an exaggerated anxiety. These will deprive you of the ability to practice virtue. I am always ready to forgive you. As often as you beg for it, you glorify my mercy. Saint Faustina responded, My Jesus, despite your graces, I see and feel all my misery. I begin my day with battle and end it with battle. As soon as I conquer one obstacle, ten more appear to take its place. But I am not worried because I know that this is the time of struggle not peace. We ask the Lord the grace of trust in Him. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul, divinity of our Lord, your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement, atonement for our sins and, and those of the whole world, for the, the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on, and on the whole world. Mother, may this prayer be granted, that Christ's love may station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. From the Gospel of John. When the soldiers took his clothes and divided them into four shares, a share for each soldier. They also took his tunic, but the tunic was seamless, woven in one piece from the top down. So they said to one another, Let's not tear it, but cast lots for it to see whose it will be, in order that the passage of the scripture may be fulfilled. Jesus was suddenly standing before me, stripped of his clothes, his body completely covered with wounds, his eyes flooded with tears and blood, his face disfigured and covered with spittle. The Lord then said to me, The bride must resemble her betrothed. Saint Faustina said, I understood these words to their very depth. There is no room for doubt here. My likeness to Jesus must be through suffering and humility. Pray for the grace of stripping ourselves of everything that is not the love of Christ. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ 
atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. At the cross your sorrow sharing, all your grief and torment bearing, let me stand and mourn with you. The eleventh station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. From the Gospel of Matthew. Those passing by reviled him, shaking their heads and saying, You who would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, save yourself if you are the Son of God, and come down from the cross. Likewise, the chief priest with the scribes and the elders mocked him and said, He saved others, he cannot save himself. He trusted in God, let him deliver him now if he wants. Words of Jesus. My pupil, have great love for those who cause you suffering. Do good to those who hate you. St. Faustina said, O oh my Jesus, you know what efforts are needed to live sincerely and unaffectedly with those from whom our nature flees, or with those who deliberately or not have made us suffer. Humanly speaking, this is impossible. At such times, more than at others, I try to discover the Lord Jesus in such a person, and for this same Jesus, I do everything for such people. We pray for the grace of sincere love for those who hurt, for those who hurt us. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. station. Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy, holy cross, cross you have redeemed, redeemed the world. We can kneel for the twelfth station. From the Gospel of John. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And when he had said this, he breathed his last. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one soldier thrust his lance into his side, and immediately blood and water flowed out. words of Jesus. All this is for the salvation of souls. 
consider well what you are doing for their salvation. Painfuls be his head. Then I saw the Lord nailed to the cross. When he had hung on it for a while, I saw a multitude of souls crucified like him. Then I saw a second multitude of souls, and a third. The second multitude were not nailed to their crosses, but were holding them firmly in their hands. The third were neither nailed to their crosses, nor holding them firmly in their hands, but were dragging their crosses behind them, and they were discontent. Words of Jesus. Do you see these souls? Those who are like you in the pain and contempt they suffer will be like me also in glory. And those who also resemble me less in pain and contempt will also bear less resemblance to me in glory. Let us pray for the grace to carry our crosses and to be like our master. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement, in atonement for, for our sins, sins and those of the whole world, for the sake, for the of, the sake of his sorrowful passion, passion have, have mercy on us and on the whole world. world. Virgin, in your lovely friend, at the judgment day defending, help me by your constant prayer. The thirteenth station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by, by your, your holy cross, cross you have redeemed the world. From the Gospel of Luke. The centurion, who witnessed what had happened, glorified God and said, This man was innocent beyond doubt. When all the people who had gathered for this spectacle saw what had happened, they returned home, beating their breasts, but all his acquaintances stood at a distance. Words of Jesus. Most dear to me, is the soul that strongly believes in my goodness and has complete trust in me. I keep my confidence upon it and give it all it asks. St. Faustina prayed, I fly to your mercy, compassionate God. You alone are good. Although my misery is great, and my offenses are many. I trust in your mercy because you are the God of mercy. And from time immemorial, it has never been heard of, nor heaven on earth remember, that a soul trusting in your mercy has been disappointed. In silence we look upon our Lord and our Lady, and how good they are. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. 
and atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Savior, when my life shall lead me through your mother's prairies, feed me with the fruits of victory. The fourteenth station. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore, adore you, o Christ, Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, cross you have redeemed, redeemed the world. From the Gospel of John. They took the body of Jesus and bound it with burial cloths, along with the spices, according to Jewish burial custom. Now in the place where he had been crucified, there was a garden. And in the garden was a new tomb, in which no one had yet been buried. So they laid Jesus there because of the Jewish preparation day for the tomb was close by. Words of Jesus. You are not yet in your homeland, so go, fortified by my grace, to fight for my kingdom in human souls. Fight as a king's child would, and remember that the days of your exile will pass quickly, and with them the possibility of earning merit for heaven. I expect from you a great number of souls who will glorify my mercy for all eternity. St. Faustina says, Every soul you have entrusted to me, Jesus, I will try to aid with prayer and sacrifice so that your grace can work in them. O oh, great lover of souls, my Jesus, I thank you for the immense confidence with which you have deigned to place souls in our care. Pray for the grace that we too will give our lives for the salvation of souls. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement, atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Let me to your love be taken. Let my soul in death awaken to the joy of Whenever we pray a rosary or spend a half an hour uh, reading the scriptures or do the Stations of the Cross, the church offers a plenary indulgence and our Pope Francis has assured us who cannot go to confession during these days, cannot go to communion, but nevertheless we can obtain a plenary indulgence just by having the intention of going to confession whenever we are able, when it is possible again. Um, but also one of the requirements will be uh, to pray for the intentions of our Holy Father. So now we pray three prayers uh, for the intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, and now, and it shall be, the world without end. Amen. Once again, in just a few minutes, we will have another uh, broadcast, live stream, uh, of the Chaplet of Divine Mercy. You're welcome to pray that with us as we begin the nine days of the Novena uh, of the Divine Mercy, which ends on the Feast of the Divine Mercy, which is the Sunday after Easter. God bless all of you. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. Your spirit. May Almighty God bless all of you in your homes in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.